kitty. Gail's a cat? <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> so is Gannon Jr. the son of a cat? <laughs> is that what's going on here? Definitely a weird dream. Yeah. Oh? Damn it! What's with the omen thing? <laughs> what is this place? The environmental controls here seem extremely strict. They're so big. Six to each side, with one directly across. Thirteen in all. Looks like each block has a name inscribed on it. You've got great eyesight. Hmm, let's see. Peter, Andrew, Boanerges, Thomas, John, um, Philip. Matthew, Bartholomew, James, Thaddeus, Simon, Judas. And the last one? It appears to say Marian Kind. Marian Kind? I think I've heard that somewhere. It means the child of Mary. This is where we store all the really dangerous items. Stuff like this. Zohars! Actually, they're all emulators. And they've all been sealed, including the one we just retrieved. Why are these Zohars here? Well, our corporation does dabble a little in everything. Besides, these days, you can't get by without having something to deal with the Gnosis. And we definitely can't wait around for the Federation to get off its lazy butt. What's in the room across from here? Nothing pleasant, I'll tell you that much. You're not going to show us? Trust me, it ain't something you'd want to see. Even if we were well, to see the want to see it. <laughs> of your businesses, you're still a Foundation, right? I mean, the weaponry on this ship far outclassed those on any warship. Who are you people, anyway? We were more or less a government organization previously. Well, I guess if you want to see it that badly... Yes, I do. Oh. I warned you, you weren't gonna like it, didn't I? All of these specimens appear to be humans whose bodies turned into Gnosis. Transformed bodies. I've only heard of them before. Most people just turn white and shatter to pieces. But there are a few exceptions, and they end up like this. We've named this one Betty for now. It's hard to look straight at them. But I don't want to refer to them by some code name or number. It's just not right to treat the dead like mere objects. Is that a lady? She was a little girl. The last time we saw her. People turning into Gnosis? Have you learned anything about them? Not much. Plenty of Gnosis remains have been recovered to date. But nobody's learned a thing from them. You know what they're composed of? No. 
Sodium chloride. Plain old salt. Even their translucent bodies are mostly made up of water and sodium hydroxide. How can ordinary compounds like that form creatures like them? No one really knows why those who survive Gnosis encounters always turn into one of them. Some people think they're a new type of virus. Others say they're beings from another dimension who take on temporary forms. God, that one in the background is terrifying. <laughs> always? No exceptions? Nope. Not as far as I know. So they could be from another dimension? Wouldn't that mean that their true forms might exist somewhere else? Who knows? All that's certain is that they're hostile to humans. Yeah, we figured that part Not out. That such a sentiment is unique to them. Chief, is something wrong? You don't look so good. Huh? No, don't worry. It's nothing. So... So when did this all begin? Unofficially, phenomena like this have been occurring periodically over the past few centuries. But, after a certain incident, the Gnosis leapt into the forefront of history. A certain incident? The Milshin Conflict. It all comes back to that. Joachim Mizrahi. It was he who opened Pandora's box and unleashed the Gnosis upon the galaxy. And we're all paying for his ambition. Joachim Mizrahi. The brilliant scientist who founded the Utic organization. Brilliant? He was a lunatic. Unable to bear his curiosity, he invited the Gnosis into our world. Lunatic? The foundation was established after the war by the newly formed Second Milshin government to clean up and investigate the facts behind the incident. Technically, that's our real job. Problem is, the funding's tight in peacetime. On top of that, running the foundation takes a staggering amount of money, and the management of these Zohars ain't cheap either. So, we ended up privatizing part of our operations and became a foundation. We never imagined that some of our side businesses would hit it so big, though. Daddy wasn't like that. Nope, we're in. I have a little worried about Momo. I wonder where she went. I wonder if what I said bothered her. Perhaps the truth that exists here might have been a bit too much for her. Maybe. Shelley called for me, so I'm heading over to Drundle's Bridge. Okay. Suppose I should go check on Momo. I wonder where Momo went. <laughs> Time to get lost in another ship. <laughs> There's an email for Shion. Inside the cathedral ship. Cool. That's the one we were just at. So got a new place on the EVS. So, so far we've had a really bad track record when we get to new ships of getting very lost and spending quite a long time just wandering around and not really figuring where anything is. And now we've got to do that again on a ship that's probably even bigger. <sighs> Seriously, could y'all invest in a fast travel system? <laughs> No, wait, does this one have... This one might have a fast travel system. Uh, that would be delightful, wouldn't it? Please enter your destination. There's a park in this ship? Good lord. Ugh. Hmm. Did you all see where Momo went? It just left on the train. Doesn't say where, though. Yep, so, time to just wander around, I guess. Ugh. 
I would go to the park if I'm feeling down. Or We're parked at the park. Also, is it just me or does this game just not have background music? I've noticed it a few times now, it's just like, it's eerily silent. Go up to the observation room. She is here. Rahi the lunatic? Is Daddy really like that? Since Daddy built us, does that mean we aliens are bad people too? Momo, we were looking all over for you. Hello, Xion. What's wrong? You look kind of down. Xion, I... I was created by Yoakim Mizrahi. He designed the 100 series Realians back when the Federation funded him. I know. Xi'an, I... Daddy wasn't a lunatic. I don't even know what I am. Identity diffusion. The eternal dilemma. Do you know about the environmental bugs on board this ship? They're actually nanomachines, you know. Used to keep enclosed spaces like this clean. I'd say that of all the things Professor Mizrahi or anyone else created, they rank up there pretty high. These bugs may be man-made, but they function as if they've existed all along. Almost as if they were meant to be. I think realians are the same. The only difference between us is the length of our histories. But regardless of our origins, each one of us has an important role to fulfill in this world. Besides, I really doubt Dr. Mizrahi was a dangerous person like everyone makes him out to be. And it's not just because of the environmental bugs. The work he did on Realians was incredibly insightful. If he did bring the Gnosis, though, that's the pretty bad. The research Professor Misrahi left behind played a critical role in the development of modern anti-Gnosis technology. Thanks for the backup, Cosmos. I'm really glad to see you react like that. Empathizing with the feelings of others is a major factor in human relationships. Although I do not believe that the current situation called for me to act in an empathetic manner, I am pleased to be of service to you. <laughs> I think Cosmos is really funny. Too bad she doesn't take instruction very well. I never got to meet Daddy. But he used to talk to me all the time before I was born. It's all a little hazy, but I remember him telling me that I could become a real person if I did good deeds. Really? That's a wonderful memory to have. Uh-huh. Chief! Great news! After this ship arrives at the Kukai Foundation, they're gonna take us to Second Milsha. Second Milsha? Really? Apparently, they have some work to take care of out there. The captain's still whining about repairing the Elsa, but... Some work? I wonder... Huh? Well... I'm sure they've got their own reasons, but don't you think it's a little strange that everyone's heading for Milsha? Not really. It's probably just a coincidence. I'm just glad we saved some money. Not to mention that this ship's a million times better equipped than the Elsa. And we'll have nothing to worry about if we run into the Gnosis again. Hey, speaking of which, did you check out your room? They all have jacuzzis and mini bars and... Yo, hey, sign me up. What's wrong, Chief? <sighs> Nothing, nothing. I'm just jealous of how easily swayed you are.
What does it mean that the scenery is beautiful? It means that it looks good. Collection of numerical values and data. Good for you. Okay, so that's, uh, that's the clue that to progress with the story, you go to bed. I concur with your opinion. Cool. So yeah, progress the story, go to bed. But, I'm going to explore the ship first. And ho hopefully find some shops. I think this goes back down to the train. Yes, it looks like there's another path up here. Oh. <laughs> Nothing over here anyway. We were the aliens have our personalities set to our respective environments. It was in the military more like soldiers, and in the private sector are more like civilians. Cool. There's an email for Xion. Oh, here we go again. After you contacted us, we took the inspectors on standby and headed immediately out towards Lutz. We made full use of the UMN gate and arrived as quickly as possible. When we arrived, the intruder had already disappeared. The only thing we were able to do was confirm the intruder's AI double's last moments prior to death. Although it's hard to believe, we feel that he was already onto your manhunt when we began monitoring. The intruder, who realised that the detection of his location was only a matter of time, had the AI act as a snake charmer until just before we got there. He then used that opportunity to distract our attention elsewhere and smuggle himself onto a cargo ship leaving a port nearby, thus covering his tracks. I suspect he probably had a well thought out escape plan prepared ahead of time. This guy doesn't slip up. After that, we explained the situation to Hamilton Heavy Industries and got a list of every possible person, vessel, and fact related to Lutz in the last five minutes, last five months. It was our hope, but it was our last hope. But the intruder randomised the list of data, so the clues no longer had any meaning. We completely give up. Well, the only option we have is to wait for his next break-in. However, the intruder may not choose Victor as a target next time around. If that is the case, the next target could be Koshiba, Hopman, AG, Ziggurat Industries, Ziggurat. Huh, I wonder if that's related to Ziggy. Mm. Or Hyams Heavy Industries. The best thing to do until the intruder is captured is ask other companies for their help. Moreover, we have preferred a reward for you in exchange for your cooperation in this matter. You failed to capture the intruder, but you showed us that you are capable. The reward is 600,000! What? Yo, that's pretty good. <laughs> so I don't know if that's... I assume this is the end of this quest chain. I don't know if that's the best outcome. Because presumably there was a way to actually capture the guy. And I didn't. But that's a lot of money. Which is really good. We can go shopping now. We are completely taken for fools. But the AI who tricked us usually functions at the intruder's front end. And it's probably studying the intruder operations for this process. So I'm just trying to figure out how I how I could have maybe done it. And I'm thinking when they gave us the list of options as to where the guy was earlier, I picked the one that was like, this is where he most likely is. But maybe the way to actually catch the guy is to pick the least likely one. Because now we know that he was trying to throw us off. Maybe that means that that was the bait, and where he actually was, was the one that doesn't look as likely. Because that was his plan. I don't know. Oh well. The winner is Intruder who is able to escape. What's the point if he's not caught? 
Okay, but I hope that's the best we could do. I think we did. We did all right. Yeah, but Shion was really disappointed. But yeah, I don't know if that's the best outcome for that quest, but I don't care. <laughs> like I said before, I'm not 100% in completionist this. There's, this is the type of game where there's likely a lot of things and a lot of missable things. And since I'm going into this completely blind, I'm probably going to miss a lot of it. Let's check out the hangar. It's kind of wild, at least so far, this ship is easier to navigate than both of the previous ones. Because it's really just a bunch of areas connected to a train. So you don't have to keep walking around everywhere. Like explosives? I wouldn't mind some explosives. Explosives. This is the gears hanger it looks like. Which probably means there's a shop around here. Here's one. This isn't one that I can do the um I can do the EVS thing on, is it? It has to be one that has the additional thing on it, yeah. That's what I'm looking for at the moment, because one thing I want one thing I realised when I was doing that last uh, dungeon is that I feel like I'm pretty under leveled and underdeveloped. And one thing I want to do then is, in between episodes, uh, go through the simulators. Just to make sure I've got all the treasure, fight a few things along the way. And just see if I can't uh, power myself up a bit. Because I haven't really been doing any of the side stuff. I feel like that's starting to uh, cause me issues. Go to the bridge? Sure. Seems like you've all seen some tough times. Uh, you take some time and look around. That's what I'm doing. Oh, Momo is fine. <laughs> She's chill now. Well, uh, I was going to say, has uh, Junior joined the party yet? But, well, our party is empty, so. Oh. And our party is empty, which means even if there is an EVS here. I can't bring my party with me, can I? So now I feel like I have to progress with the story a little bit until the party joins back up again. Ah, uh, fine. <laughs> okay, we've been to the hangar. Been to the park. Isolation area is where we started. I think I've, I think I've been to the dock, haven't I? No, dock and hangar are different. <laughs> Ship this size must be an ordeal to move. Probably. I assume that Elsa is uh, docked around here somewhere then. Oh, here, here we are. And here is the EVS point, okay. But, I don't have my party with me. Which is pretty annoying, because I was planning on... I can't even do their shopping, can I? Uh... Okay. Fine.
fine. Because, yeah, that was my plan. To get to the EVS point and do some side stuff. But in order to do that, I need my party with me. But they're not with me now, so... Oh well. Hopefully, hopefully, I just need to like rest at the um, rest at the bedroom, or whatever. And hopefully, then the party joins before I have to disembark for the uh, wherever it is we're going. Anyway, so far, this has been my favourite ship to navigate. Because <laughs> it's actually just really easy to get around. It actually has a fast travel system. It's amazing. <sighs> Last area to look around, it's residential. Here's an email. And that one gave me an option to read it or not. Ace Combat 04 from Namco? Wait a minute. <laughs> what? High quality graphics, realistic sounds, a newly incorporated game system. All in an entirely new game within the Ace Combat series. Is this an ad? <laughs> what? Uh, uh, okay. <laughs> it, hang on. <laughs> I have to look something up now. Is combat four? Came out in two thousand and one, which would have been around the time this came out. Yeah, I, I, I think they, I think I just got an ad. <laughs> okay, sure, why not? <laughs> game room. Well, I have to check the game room. Oh, and here's an EVS thing. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Smoking area. Sure. That's about 14, it's about 14 years ago. I was still a kid back then. I was living in Millship at the time when I used to go play at the Millship Park a lot. Then one day, I was playing at the Pink Dome in Millship Park when I lost my precious card. To this day, I'm in casinos trying to get that card back. Oh, back then I was little, so I, so I, I could get inside the dome. Okay. I'm doing everything the way little master told me, but I can't win at all. Am I doing something wrong? You got a problem with a policewoman being here? I'm human too. I have to, you have to gamble a little in your life. Not much of a game room. Doesn't seem to be much here. There's a casino passport, okay. So I assume that lets me play the uh, casino. Over there. But I want to get my party back first before I do side stuff. Oh, this place is big. Okay, we can go inside other rooms, it looks like. <laughs> There's a shop in here. for junior yeah wow these are good upgrades i wish i could see my party 
Yeah, no point doing any shopping yet, because I don't know... don't know who I've got on my party. I don't know what they've got. But I've just got to remember that the shop is here. Ether upgrade, you'd love to see it. Ether pack, also good. I hope they don't mind me blowing everything up. This is this kind of what I do, you know? Ether upgrades, you love it. And medkits. Not my room, okay. Who knew this would be the hardest place to navigate in this bloody place? Booster pack. Master Gaina told me. Room down the corridor. I presume this one. Uh, one second. Who are you? Customer. Out of you even when I'm sleeping. Uh, okay. And hopefully, nothing catastrophic happens in the meantime. What I'm hoping is we dock at this place. The party all regroups and it's like, hey, when you want to progress with the story, leave the ship on your own. Just, just leave the ship. Then I can still walk around the ship freely with my entire party. That is ideal. So that's the Kukai Foundation. They sure know how to spend their money. I can't wait to see the Durandal turn into a skyscraper. It's so beautiful. What does that mean? <laughs> We're going to dock just like this? This ship's supposedly one of the most famous landmarks in the Foundation. I saw it in a travel guide on the Elsa. Oh, really? I never know. I don't check out vacation guides very often. Oh, look! We're docking! So the ship becomes part of the space station? Okay, sure, why not? Definitely a unique form of docking. Eve is the best time to visit. The evening metropolis is quite a sight to behold with all her lights. Gainan Kukai, the managing director of the Kukai Foundation. Oh, that's Gainan. Huh? Huh? Junior? What was that? Uh, nothing. Nice to meet you. Welcome to the Kukai Foundation. Huh, he's got numbers as well. I heard about your situation from Captain Matthews in Chaos. Is everything all right? Oh, uh, yes. Thank you for all your help. Enjoy your stay. What's wrong with me? Acting so rudely towards someone I just met. And you must be Momo. I've received word from Yuri Mizrahi of the Contact Subcommittee. We'll make sure you get to Milsha safely. From mommy? Right. 
She told me to take good care of you. Can I talk to her? Well, she seemed pretty busy. Oh, I see. Why doesn't Mommy ever want to see me? I'll let you know as soon as I hear from her again. All right. Thank you very much. Uh. No, it can't be. Okay, now what's his deal? What's with those eyes? That android Cosmos, she's got an incredible amount of potential, you know. There's no way she's just a prototype. I'm also concerned about how she resonated with the emulators. The Hilbert effect. I heard they lost the archetype, but it looks like there's more to this than it seems. And don't forget about her engineer. What was her name? Xion? I think she might be onto us. And our powers. No way. She's just an ordinary human. She might not be as ordinary as you think. I doubt it. She seems normal enough to me. I guess it's possible, though. After all, she's involved in the highest classified part of that project. The same one Helmer's involved in. The Zohar project. Listen. Why don't we lay off the Mizrahi talk for a while? Hmm. Concerned about that Momo girl? Don't look at me like that. You think she likes being called the child of a madman? After all, we were both there when Mizrahi finally met his end. We saw what happened. You know that girl's a realian. Her memory might be imprinted with something. So you're saying the image she holds of Mizrahi is a false one? I don't know. That's why I want you to lay off when you're around her. At least, for now, anyway. If you're that concerned about her, why don't you invite her down to the beach? I'm sure it'll help take her mind off of things. Man, I told you, it's not like that. Hey. <clears throat> What's this? Man, it's a stainless steel finished Makalov. With the original box and everything! I won it at a Lion's Heart auction. It was part of their antique weapons collection. This isn't like you. You're up to something. Not at all. I just thought I'd reward you for all the hard work you've done for us recently. And I don't know this guy well, but it seems like he's always up to something. <laughs> he just has that suspicious don't go air around him. All over the place. Remember, you're older than I am. What? Try to act like it once in a while, all right? Junior is the older one. What the hell is these guys' deal? <laughs> these guys are weird. And uh, that's saying something, because they're in our party is already pretty weird. I mean, we've got a guy called Lowercase Chaos. It's open. Chief, we better get going soon. Yeah. What's wrong? Maybe it's just me, but you've been acting gloomy ever since we boarded this ship. Hmm? No. Really, it's nothing. What? You really think I'm acting like that? Yep. No doubt about it. Hmm. See? Just like that. <laughs> oh, I just have a lot on my mind. I'm sure that's all it is. Are you sure? If something's bothering you, I'd be more than happy to listen. Hey, Shion! Let's go out and play! Hmm? I'll wait for you over at the shuttle launch, so hurry, okay? See you there!
I don't suppose the party has already regrouped. No! Dang it. Hopefully, I just can go to the exit and they'll regroup before I leave. I'm starting to get the feeling that we're not going to be reuniting the party anytime soon. Uh, that's frustrating. Okay, uh, can I at least get these guys in the party? Yes, okay. At least got some people. Yes, not Chaos or not Cosmos or uh, Ziggy. So we're limited on the party, but at least I have some people now. I do wish I could bring Cosmos with me, because she's an important part of the party members, but so, yeah, I'm gonna go back to the shop now that I've actually got some party members with me. And uh resupply and probably do some environmental simulator stuff. And then we head to the beach for a beach episode. Sure.